You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Thursday, December 8th, Friday. 2016. It's Friday. December 9th. We have 17, 16, 16. days until Christmas. And <laughs> I'm Ryan Chinlin. And I'm Alex Raymond, and it is time for the 12 days of Christmas. So, um, from now until holiday break, the Friends of Rachel Club will be drawing a name from each grade to win a prize. So to start off the show, we'll start the 12 days of Christmas. So let's send it over to today's four club member. Hey guys, my name is Antonio. Um, for day one, for yesterday, for Thursday, um, for ninth grade, there's Delaney Gerhart for the winner. Uh, tenth grade, Erica Zerlinski. Eleventh grade, Justin Ford. 12th grade, Devin Strait. And then for today, the, uh, the winners are uh, 9th grade, Deontay Stump. 10th grade, Tony Kister. 11th grade, uh, Jarek Bisner. And 12th grade, Mason Klain. So, there's, uh, there's, there's winners. So if you won, go down to the office and you'll be able to claim a prize. Yep. But now it's time for some announcements. Actually, one announcement. So if you are interested in attending a breakfast for students with military ties, then come join on December 16th for free food and a discussion on the people that we want to see for the holidays. You can sign up until December 14th in the library and feel free to contact Caprice Gillick if you have any questions. That's everything for us. Now let's take it to Emma Sadowski with sports. Good morning, everybody. Today's boys basketball will be playing in the tip-off tournament at home against Northern York at 7.30. Hopefully you are able to head out to the game to support the team. Here's lunch today. Today's lunch will be toasted cheese. Sandwich of the day is fish and cheese or buffalo chicken wrap and there will be a variety of pizza in the pizza line. Also, for, uh, for Monday's breakfast, we're having pancakes, sausage on a stick, and tomorrow's lunch will be, on Monday's lunch, will be walkaway taco with Mexican rice. Sandwich of the day will be barbecue or turkey club wrap, and there will be garlic French bread pizza in the pizza line. That's it for me, so coming up next is today's weather. Thanks, Emma. All right, taking a look at it right now, it's 27 degrees outside, pretty ridiculous. It's freezing. Taking it to the five-day forecast. So we're going to slowly climb up to 40 degrees when we get to Tuesday. Monday, we're going to hit high of 47, but look at these lows over here. We're going to hit down to 22 tomorrow, and I'm just not looking forward to that. That's all we got here. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome, oh, I think we're breathtaking, and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. I got this. <laughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Colleges love extracurricular activities. Well, uh, chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to GetSchool.com for more info. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm Parks Harmon, and I'm here for some lunch time with the man himself, Colin Wunsch. Um, he's here to tell us a bit about his soccer career. 
Um, so Colin, you were diagnosed with a heart condition that prevented you from playing soccer for the past few years. Uh, what was that? Yeah, so I was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's thickening around the aorta of the heart. Right. And when the heart is pushed or overexerted, the uh, thickening can get worse and it can shut the artery off and prevent blood from flowing in. Right, so doing too much physical activity could cause that risk right. and that's what prevented you from playing right. soccer and the games and stuff. Right. Um, so while you weren't able to play, how did you support the team? Um, I became more of a coach and more of a motivator. Uh, I played soccer since I was five years old, so I knew a lot about the game and I learned more about the game. So I was able to help the guys out, help the younger guys out especially with just positioning things and, and just overall just helping the guys out. Right. Um, did you ever think you'd be able to play in a game again before the season ended? Um, well, I held, I held on to that little bit of hope, you know, that I'd be able to play again. Um, I wanted to be able to play a whole game and, and play as hard as I could like I usually did, but I didn't get quite that far. I got the opportunity to play my senior night, though. Right. And wasn't it during tennis season, you said, earlier in the year that you were able to play because you, you were cleared and you thought that could also mean yeah. you could play again? Yeah. So I went back in January. I was diagnosed in July. And I went back in January and the thickening had gotten a little bit better. So I got cleared to play doubles in tennis. So I thought, wow, you know, if I keep taking my medicine and keep doing things right, I might have the opportunity to play again. Awesome. Right. Um, so like you said, you were cleared to play for that final game at senior night. Um, how did that come to be? How were you cleared? Yeah, so we agreed that I'd play a few minutes. Uh, I wouldn't be able to play the full game. So I played the first five minutes of the first half, the first 12 minutes of the second half, and then the last few minutes of the game. And it was very special. I mean, it, it took a little bit to get myself mentally uh, ready for it, but once I got out there, it was, it was great. Awesome. Uh, do you think you played well? Uh, yeah, I didn't do bad. Uh, I did foul a kid <laughs> in the box early right, in the yeah. game, okay, yeah. and they didn't call it, which is good because it would have been a pony kick, and that's not what I wanted. Yeah, but, yeah, when it looked good. But once I uh, once I got back out there, you know, it's just like riding a bike. You know, you don't ride a bike for a while. You hop on it. It takes you a little bit, but you get back into it, and you're fine. And that's yeah, what it was. Definitely. Uh, so, what did it feel like to be on the field with the team for that that last game? It was awesome. It was emotional um, coming off. was emotional, but it was the best experience of my life so far. I mean, just to spend that last minute with my brothers was really, really cool. That's, that's phenomenal, Colin. Um, are there any words that you have for your teammates or uh, the players carrying the team next year? Yeah, I just want to thank uh, my brothers, Alec, Eric, and Hayden. They've been with me from the start. Uh, we played NISA together. We grew up together. They've helped me through this whole process. I want to thank my goalie, Damon Faulkner. Uh, he's been with me since middle school, and he's helped me do so much off the field as well on the field, and he's been really special. And just everyone in the program, I think that this program has a lot in it, and I've been able to meet so many people on the boys and the girls side of things, and I just think that everyone is, is great in, in boys and girls soccer. And I think Northeastern soccer is back, with the girls win the division this year, that's awesome. And I think Northeastern soccer is back. And if you want to meet some really cool people, meet some soccer people because they're really, really cool. We got a lot of good people in this in the soccer team, and I think that I'm excited to see where they go after soccer and after high school as well. Definitely, definitely. Well, I want to thank you very much for sitting down and telling us your story, Colin. Thank you. Um, and that's pretty much all we got for our show today. So from all of us here at High Street Morning News, we want to wish you a fantastic day. Stay classy.